Today I will show you how you can create a SQL report SSRS in less than 5 minutes. The first thing we will do from the SQL Service Reporting Services is to click New and then Paginated Report. If you don't have the Report Builder, then just click the Get Report Builder. It will take you to Microsoft and then you can download the Report Builder. If you have it, then you can just click Open Microsoft Report Builder. Then you will select the type of report you want to build. I want to build a table or matrix report. The first thing it will ask about is your data set. The data set is equivalent to your query. I'm going to select my data source, which is my server name and my database. I have a shared one, which is on the SQL server, but I will create a new one just to show you how you can create a connection to your database server. I'll give it a name, my database. Then I can either type down the string or hit build to create the connection. The database is on my local computer, so I'll just type down local host. Then I'll hit refresh to get the list of databases that are available on my server. I'll select the database that I want to present on my report. If you have a permission to the database, then you can use your Windows user or you can select a database user if you don't have permission to the database. I'll hit OK. It created my connection string. I'll hit OK. I'll hit Next. Then I will select the table or view that I want to create my table from. Or I can hit Edit and type down my select statement. Since I already have a view, I will just select the view by checking this checkbox and it will display all the columns that are available for me to select. I'll hit Next. Now I have all my columns over here. Since I'm creating a tabular report, I will just select them all and pull them to the values column. I'll hit Next. Then it gives me a preview of how the report will look like. I'll hit Next. Then I'll finish my report. Now if I click down on My Report Builder, my report has been created. I can give it a title. And I can format my report. Let me activate the Properties pen and then select my header change my background color for the header columns make my columns wider and then I can run my report I'll click home and then hit run Now here is my report. I'll go back to the design and then I'll save my report. I'll save it to my desktop. Sales by customer. I will save that. Then I'll go back to my report server and then upload my report. Now my report is available for the end users to run it. Let's, let's run it from here to test it. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for future videos covering more advanced features of SSRS. Thanks for watching.